Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Esports Report, aka Season 1 of the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Pro League. Here from MLG, I'm Benson, joined by the wonderful Mr. X over on, on the Skype. Yep, How you doing? From my house. You're Pretty good. House. I mean, you should be sat like right here in this chair, thanks to me. But I have good news. Look what I got given. Producer just came oh. in and had me a load of GB premium codes. What are you so, going to do? You going to give them away or are you going to keep them for yourself? I'm going to give them away. Nice uh, yeah, guy. give them away. Give them away. I, I mean, I feel... I, I mean, there's a lot of GP Premium shows right here. Give but them all away. How we many can, we, can, we can give some away, probably, and later on in the show. I'm just going to put them over there so I don't forget. But game number one in the first series here that MLG broadcasts of uh, Season 1 Advanced Warfare goes to Gaming. They pick it up. That uh, Hardpoint Solar game. Pretty convincing performance from them. But now we go over to Search and Destroy <sighs> on Detroit. Of course, host has changed. Goes over to Nameless and Co., how do you see the Search and Destroy Detroit playing out? Uh, you know, I think uh, they'll have the host for the next two maps, I'm pretty sure. Uh, okay. I think Optic Gaming will have side pick on this, so it'll be interesting if and we can get anything going on on offense at the start of this game. I think that'll really kind of dictate how the entire map plays out. Okay, that's, well, if, that's if Optic Gaming takes defense. The game is being loaded up. Do you think defense is the smarter way to go on Detroit? I think it is. Yeah. I mean, you have the school. It's pretty easy to defend that. They have to run through, you know, one of two doors if they're going to maybe try and push down the mid street. And then, right. uh, A, you can watch it from a distance. And then you can also watch it from up close. You know, you can go into the hospital and, you know, try and rope around that way. Or you can uh, sit by your back green. So, looks like Optic Gaming does pick defense. No shock about that. So, it'd be interesting if Envy can come out and win one of these offensive rounds. Well, we'll kick things off with Envious in this first round. Clayster marking the melee off the break. I love it, Clay. I love it. Think outside the box. Three bows, one a melee. So I feel like we... Oh, no. Clay changed his class. Well, the very last second. You sneaky little ninja. He's rocking a bow as well. So four bows coming in from Team Envy. Yeah, so uh, not too shocked, though. And it looks like they're going to go right away towards uh, B. Which is very interesting, and they're not even, uh, some of them are not even using mute, so Optic definitely is able to, you know, spot that out right away. Nameless actually pulled out an ASM 1 and Overclock, so he's rushed all the way through, and Clayster picks up first blood, Merc replies as well, so he's not going to be able to try and get that bomb down as Nameless cleans up Skump as well, so it's a 1 on 3 already. Nature has managed to pick up the first kill, he has some cloak left, so he's going to try and use it, but it didn't really help him too much. Sniper rifle out, bomb goes down to B, picks off the oh. headshot, now it's a 1 on 2. Nature being aggressive, turn on Confusion, he's going to find the third kill as well. This could be a huge ace, but it's not going to happen. Nature goes down, but managed to bring up three kills there, man. That was crazy. <laughs> yeah, that was some aggressive play out of Nade. You usually don't see him play uh, situations like that. He usually plays a little bit slower, a little bit more passive, but uh, good to see him play aggressive. He kind of knew Nameless was by himself in that room. He was kind of like, screw it, I'm going to challenge him. Uh, I'm either going to win this fight and give myself a decent chance in a one-on-one, -on -one or losing the round is going to be over anyway. So, But actually, that's a big uh, round for NB, able to win that first offensive round. Yeah, that is, that is a big round. And props to Jacob there, <laughs> recognizing exactly what was going on. He just challenged immediately. He was like, I'm not letting this go to a one versus one. Right, could go down to some random plays. So, Nature, on your screens, on the attacking side, Jacob draws first blood once again. And but he's up second and third. Nature, less <laughs> alive by himself again. And... Fast place game coming out from Envy. I like it. Yeah, no two good rounds in a row right there for Envy. It seems like they're searching their straight game. It's pretty on point. You see the players from out the gaming so aggressive right here in the final kill cam. Clay is able to get one coming out of hospital just in the back, just flying out, not even looking at him, and then he'll pick up another one in that hall. So 2-0 up. Team Envious, of course, if you are just tuning in, Optic Gaming did pick up the first map. It was Hardpoint Solo. They did so in pretty uh, decisive fashion unfortunately yeah. i have the search and destroy spectator bug i'm not sure about you matt uh, i just had it that last round i uh, just had that last round well so, i have it this round i'm on board with merc right now who has that yeah. bomb also has two smokes dodges a sniper shot from nade and down go the smoke grenades i expect to see the trophy come on and potentially go for that plan yeah i assume that's gonna happen i assume one of the players behind him probably has a uh Thermal sniper rifle or some stories. Yeah, so I can actually look through, you know, nameless with thermal sniper behind Merc. So going back to Merc, he's just going to try and push his way into hospital and uh, clear this out a little bit. Formal's already cleaned up nameless. 
And unfortunately, three players go down. That leaves Jacob all by himself. It's a one on four. I've actually got lucky. I'm on board with him. He tries to find the second. Not going to happen. Krim shutting things down in round number three. And up the game, he's going to pick up the first round of Search and Destroy. However, Envy still 2 1 in the lead. Yeah, I know, Envy. Uh, they got they had a pretty good set up that round. They were able to get bombed down uh, all four players alive, but you know, broke pretty quick by Optic. They kind of suffocated them in that back uh, right corner of the map. Yep, so it's going to be... Hey, I have broadcast back. Optic Gaming's back on the attacking side. Nature 3-2. and two. Krim 3-2. and two. Skunk 1-2. and two. And Formal 1-3. and three. Been some pretty aggressive pushes from Team Envious, and we'll see if they continue that here now. Krim is looking to see if anyone's going to push school. Meanwhile, Nature with that bomb. Cloak sniper rifle. <laughs> Love it. Seeing such a mix of uh, class setups from all these players. Everyone using something completely different. And that really does add a massive amount to that variation in Advanced Warfare. Yeah, and I think that's what's awesome about Advanced Warfare, right? I mean, during Ghost, you pretty much primarily just saw the vector from everybody. Maybe a few Remingtons uh, towards the start of the game a little bit more, you know, with the car and the Remington. But in uh, Advanced Warfare, I mean, we see you know, different primary weapons, different loadouts in those primary weapons. And obviously, you know, with the EXO abilities, Tons of variation, so just awesome to watch. Jcap was left in a one on four that situation. Unfortunately, could only find two kills. Third, not able to pick up. <laughs> Would have been crazy <laughs> if he to pick that up, but not going to happen. So we're all tied up. Two rounds apiece. Good reply from Monster Gaming. Krim is six and two right now. However, Envy on the attacking side. Give me our board with Mr. Kaplan, who is five and two as well. And it looks like Envy are going to go back towards B. Yeah, and I you know Kaplan, he's just going to watch the back, see if he can catch any of the players from Optic Gaming flanking right off the bat. But Envy, they're just going to push the bomb in the garage, and it looks like two players at the top of the minimap are going to try and make their way into uh, hospital. Nameless tag from the right-hand side. He's going to go down. Clayster should be in a position to try and trade that kill, but Formal gets himself a two-piece. Finally, Merc cleans him up, and Jacob still right at the back of the map. Arguably needs to get a little bit closer to Merc. He's anticipating someone from Optic to rush. I think he's expecting a Krim rush, but Krim playing a, a little bit more patiently this round. You see him highlighted on your minimap at the top right of your screen in yellow. He has Merc pinned where he wants him, and that leaves Jcap now to try and make a play over here at A. If Jcap can kill Nature today, we may see Merc try and rotate, but the problem is time is ticking. 40 seconds left in this round. Yeah, Jcap's got to get over near Merc. He can't really... Delaying too much time right there. You see Merc's going to be taken out by two players from Optic. And uh, this situation, Jcap would probably like to have Mute, you know, running around in the garage right now. <laughs> no Mute, and he's spotted right away. And he's going to be taken out in that two-round lead that uh, Envy did have that was looking pretty good. It's completely gone. Yep. Good response. Or, sorry, reply from Optic Gaming there, to be honest with you. 7-2 and two, Krim, 3-3 three and three Nade, a 4-5 four and five Formal, and 2-2 two and two Scumpy. As Optic Gaming, we go into the lead for the first time here in this search and destroy Detroit game. It's going to be three rounds to two. Of course, Optic managed to pick up that first map, hard point solo, so they have a 1-0 lead. And I mentioned this to Pucket earlier on, man. I want to get your opinion on it. The early games in the season, so crucial, I feel, to, to really set you in the right way. How many times have you seen teams, you know, start slow and, and finish very, very slow in this Call of Duty season? I feel like, you know, picking up those wins early really do give you a massive confidence boost. Oh, those wins at the beginning of the season are huge. I mean, it gives you a little bit more leeway towards the end of the season. Of course, you know, obviously, just like uh, any professional sport, you want to like control your own destiny, so to speak. You don't want to uh, get down to the last week, kind of like EG did in that last season. You know, you have to win all your games, and then three other teams got to do this, and then a whole bunch of things need to happen for you to win. You want to be able to control your own destiny. So every game in the league is extremely important. <laughs> I just watched Krim get stuck in a lamppost. That was kind of amusing. He did fight through that first kill, but going back to that point, yep, you want to win as many games as you can early. It just gives you such a confidence boost. And as you mentioned, no one wants to be left in that kind of position where you're relying on other results. That isn't what you want. And Optic Gaming looking in a good position here to try and pick up this round of Search and Destroy. Clayster all by himself, one on three, throwing those grenades over at Nature. Didn't get a hit marker on the first one. Not going to find a hit marker on the second either. And unfortunately, Clay goes down. Optic Gaming looking set at picking up this Search and Destroy game, make it 2-0 in the series. Yeah, and I think this is a map Envy needs to really take. They started off really good, Ben. They they looked like they were going to take this map, to be honest with you. They were playing extremely aggressive, extremely fast, and it looked like Optic changed their play style a little bit, changed their strats, and Envy really hasn't come up with a uh, no counter to anything they're doing. Yeah, they need to just change up that play style. I feel still not seeing any of Melee's come out. Or ASM1s. In fact, no, I lied. Nameless 
running that ASM-1 sniper rifle combination. So I'm going to be on board with him to kick things off. He's actually struggling a little bit in this game. One and five. And this is an MV host as well. Keep that in mind. Hosting has always been something which players talk about in the online seasons. And it is a factor whether you want to accept it or not. There is always going to be that element to it. Right now, the two versus two. Make that a one versus two. Nameless all by himself up against Scumpy and Former. Yeah, but it looks like uh, Nameless is actually going to get shots on Scump and then just back out of there. But he's going to be able to take him out. We're going to have a one-on-one -on -one right here, Ben. And Former looks like he's going to challenge two. Nameless gets the one-on-two oh. -on -two clutch. Nicely played from him. A must-needed round for MVI I feel. And that keeps him a little bit closer in contestion here on this search and destroy. And you can see exactly how Nameless picked up that two-piece one more time as he cleans up Formal in that round ending kill cam. So Envy staying alive. It's going to be four rounds to three. Still in favor of Optic Gaming. And we'll see Optic on the attacking side one more time. Nature using the ASM-1. Any changes? Formal's put out an ASM-1 as well. But can Scumpy try and get this pre-snipe? No yeah, one's actually so going to be running there anyway, so... No, yeah, well, he's going to try and catch somebody going through uh, school in the back. That's a very difficult shot to hit right off because they usually you know, dash straight past it. But they're going to get pinched right away from mid-street, but Clay is going to be taken out by Scump, and that's a huge first blood for Optic Gaming. Oh, Nature picks up the assist with Sniper Rifle, goes to the challenge, cleans up the kill as well. So Merc, one on three, make that a one on two, make that a one on one. Merc not wasting any time. Oh, he had the third player in front of him as well. Could have been a massive clutch from him, but it is not going to happen. Optic Gaming now one round away from picking up the search and destroying going 2-0 up. Oh, I mean, if Merc was able to clutch this round, uh, I definitely would have seen Envy coming back. I think, uh, what was that, been a one-on-four right there? Yep, would have been a one-on-four. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's difficult to come back from that. We saw yesterday during the 5K, uh, Steven tried to clutch a one-on-four, uh, almost pulled that out, but was not able to. So right now it looks like uh, Optic Gaming going to be one round away from taking this. Yep, and it's going to be Envy on the attacking side as well, so... Pressure on for them. Jcap on your screens as well as Merc and Nameless already down. Formal Crim being so aggressive. Jcap and Clay managed to pick up that kill. However, they are surrounded by Optic Gaming players. Can they try and pick up a couple more kills? That's all they need. Jcap has actually just decided to try and book it towards the other bomb site. And because of that, Clay is going to fall. So Jcap, one on three. It's not looking good. He's going to get challenged. Surely. No, a two piece from Cap. One on one. Unbelievable, and uh, Krim is right oh, outside Jcap, here, and no. Cap's going to get shots in. Oh! Jcap. <laughs> or nah. Or nah. Right? Jcap Dude. down and out for the count. Three piece. Yeah, one on yeah. three. Cash. No biggie. We well, you know what happened is Skump went to go challenge right after, and almost like Skump just laid into Kaplan's yeah. shots, which, uh, you know, Cap was able to take him out pretty easily and clutch that. So just unbelievable plays right there out of Cap to keep Envy alive. And, uh, you know, they got to be f feeling pretty good after that round. Oh, that's a definite confident boost right there from Jcap. And as you said, Scumpy kind of ran into his bullets. And he's going to be saying thank you very much for an easy two-piece. I uh, managed to win that 1v1 as well. Now, sadly, I have the broadcaster glitch. I'm on board with Merc on the defensive side. So, Matt, you're going to have to guide me through what else is going on. Uh, well, I'm, I'm in the same boat, but I'm with Merc too. So at least we're with the same person. Ah, well, that's good. Two players already down for up the gaming as well. Make that three. So Scump in a one-on-four situation. And if Envy tie this up, you got to have them with momentum going into that round 11. In fact, Scumpy is able to pick up Merc. Now over to Clayster. Clay going to pre-aim and actually see Scumpy. Connects with some hit markers. Scump still with a massive amount of work to do. Yeah, but they know where Scump is, so they're not going to push him. You know, Clay is just going to sit there and watch the doorway, and it doesn't look like any of the members from Envy are going to push out with any chance of trying to get uh, three on one. Actually, it would be a four on one by Scump right here. This would be a huge clutch, and of course, that bomb is down. Other side of the map, Scumpy just doing everything he can to try and stay alive, but so many plays from Envy staring at him. Scumpy's peeking with a sniper rifle, and Clay is just pre aiming. Finally, the kill goes down, and Matt, we're going to round 11. Yeah, I think that was uh, Nameless in the side, actually. Uh, no, actually, it was going to be Cap coming from the middle. So Nameless was two Caps right right here. But Cap on fire on a five streak, uh, you know, really guiding Envy back into this uh, match. And we're going to get a round 11. Please, base god, let me have Broadcaster back. Yes, I have it for round 11. Hallelujah. Envy on the attacking side. I've seen a couple of players changing the class very, very quickly. Nameless is one of them. He struggled a little bit this game, but he has 
managed to bring things back. Merc with the bomb. Looks like they're pushing A very, very fast. Jcap is going to be challenging first of all. He sees two players actually cross, pre-aiming Scumpy and gets the assist. Envy looking good. Yeah, it's a huge intro kill right there. But it's going to look like they're going to start trading kills right here. And it's going to be uh, Clayster and Nameless going up against Nade Krim. And Nade is actually taken out. It's going to be all up to Krim. But now we got a great one-on-one -on -one situation oh, wow. between Clay and Krim. Krim 6 versus Clayster. Clayster desperately chasing him. But Krim's actually double-backed. He's behind Clayster. Krim could actually pick up this kill very easily. But he hasn't checked the hospital. Neither player know where each other are. They're kind of running around in circles at this point. Waiting until both players slow down the tempo. 45 seconds left. You see Clayster there with that bomb. Thanks to COD Vision. Krim 11 and 6. Clay 7 and 8. As the tempo of this game drastically changes. A round 11, 1v1. Couldn't ask for much more. A fantastic series so far, but time is ticking away now as Clayster makes a move to go and plant that bomb. If Krim 6 checks, he's going to find a kill. Surely he sees him and he does get the headshot. And Optic Gaming pick up the search and destroy Krim 6 with the nice play in the one versus one. And now, Matt, that means Optic Gaming get two open in the series. Yeah, that's a huge map for Optic Gaming. You know, didn't uh, didn't finish that in the best fashion right there. Let Envy back into it with some big plays from uh, Cap, but they're able to actually pull this one out. Krim going 12 and six, you know, to lead Optic Gaming. Then Cap on the other side, the great performance at 13 and seven. But, you know, that last round, uh, Clay had a little bit of stim. I don't think it would have helped him too much, obviously, right there in that last round. You got to think if he had something different, he might have been able to you know, book it all the way over towards B. If he'd have been using Cloak, potentially Krim may not have actually seen yeah. him there because Krim only saw a very fraction of his head, but might have to pick up that headshot nevertheless. So now, Optic Gaming 2-0 in the lead here in the first game of the MLG Advanced Warfare COD season. And to be honest, what a series it has been so far. Envy should have maybe won that search and destroy. They came back, but game number three will be coming up after this next commercial break.